Hey YouTube, Kushi Kush here. I'm going to do my best to make a video on the light and dark event. I'm mainly going to be focusing on dark decks you can use on this event. I may make another video for light decks, but right now I made some fairly free to play decks that you can use in the event. So we're going to be starting off real quick into Black Wings. This is a deck right here. The deck will be in the description down below as well. Essentially, it's just three copies of the Black Wing structure deck, but it does have three copies of Lightning Storm. There are other options if you so choose to use those, but that's only if you don't have these. Essentially, what this deck does is that you bring out three to two copies of your big boss monster, which burns your opponent if they activate any monster effect. Also, it just has insane recoverability uh, because you have like this trap card called Twin Shadows where you can just synchro using your graveyard. Uh, also, you have one card, Synchro Aids. It's an amazingly powerful deck that has a lot of versatility, and I think it's especially good in this event since Maxi and Ash Blossom are not legal. Meaning, you can just go full combo, unless you're playing against a guy who's running Nibiru. Regardless, this is the Blackwing deck. I really do like it. All right, next up we have Dark Magician. This is a fan favorite deck, and I did a little bit of a twist on it. I threw in Fallen of Albaz. Now, like the Blackwing one, you can play this free to play. You don't need to run Super Poly, which is you are. You don't need three infinite impermanents. Uh, Fusion Deployment comes in a structure deck, the Cyber Dark one, which I, I mean, I recommend it. It's a good structure deck because it has Cyber Dragons and Cyber Dark. It's cool. Anyways, a Pot of Extravagance, yeah, doesn't doesn't come in a structure deck. Fall of Albas, especially, and the extra deck. The extra deck's kind of expensive. You could just run this pure Dark Magician. So talking about this deck real quick, why am I running Fallen of Alabaz and why am I running Fusion Deployment? Well, Fusion Deployment can allow us to Special Summon Dark Magician directly from the deck. Like, no cost, just literally just Special Summon. Um, although we are locked into Fusions, we're only running Fusions in the extra deck. We have cards like Super Poly, where we can use our opponent's monsters, our monsters, and we can go into Fusion. Uh, there's a couple of really good targets, especially in the Light of Dark event, like Starving Venom Dragon, because your opponent's most likely going to either be playing Dark or Light. So, yeah, just steal their monster. If they're running fusions, you can steal their monster. Pretty cool stuff. Fallen of Albaz can be special summoned directly from the deck as well. And he's literally just super poly. <laughs> so, yeah, fusion deployment kind of has a lot of niches here. We're also running the Aya to Minus. I don't generally run this in Dark Magician. But in this one, we don't have access to all the powerful hand traps like Maxi that can just get us a bunch of cards. So, we're going to fill that up with other cards such as Aya to Minus. Allows us to go into Dark Magician Knight. Protects our back row, also counts as Dark Magician. Pretty cool card. And yeah, I, I think this is going to be an interesting one. I haven't played with this in the event yet. I've just been playing with Black Wings. But if you think you would change anything, feel free to leave it down below for others to read. And the final one is going to be Abyss Actors. Abyss Actors are, well, a deck I actually honestly slept on. I didn't really think they were good until I actually played them. And then I realized, damn, they kind of good. Especially for these events. This... I've used Abyss Actors in the last event, in this event, it's they've kind of been coming in really clutchy. Essentially, the point of the deck is you're running a Pendulum deck, and you just special summon the field with a bunch of Pendulum monsters, which can allow you to go into links like Boral End, if you want, uh, Boral Sword, Boral Load, Topologic Bomber Dragon, like whatever you want, really. But literally, the main ones you're going to be going into are Abyss Actor Hyper Director, which is a Link 1 Abyss Actor specific card, and Abyss Actor Super Producer. These are the two links that you're going to be mainly going into. All the other links are just there just for options. But I do like this deck because you're able to spam the board. You're able to destroy a lot of face-up cards. The only downside with this deck is that you're not really able to destroy face-down cards. So if your opponent sets a lot of spell or traps, you're going to have a hard time getting past that. But that's like the only thing that this deck struggles with. It wins in a grind game because you have a pendulum monster that just continually adds you stuff. You have cards that add you stuff like insanely powerful in the grind game and in terms of spamage you can just spam your board it's a very cool potent deck final thoughts let me know what you think down below regardless i hope you enjoyed today's video and maybe i'll catch you next time and sorry for not uploading a lot my internet is very bad and master duel crashes a lot so once my internet gets fixed i'm going to be uploading more regularly until then thank you so much for supporting me i hope you liked the video Feel free to like it if you did like it, and sub consider subscribing. Maybe I'll catch you next time. I hope you have a great day or night, and later.